Gold prices rallied today, getting off those lows we saw from yesterday, getting all the way down to 1890, today getting back up into the mid 1930s. Uh, a lot of that having to do with the dollar coming off. The dollar was weaker. We've seen treasury yields coming down the last few sessions. Cryptocurrency is really a non-event after their rally we saw over the last couple of days or so. But ultimately right now, uh, the market kind of hovering in that 19 to 1950 range. It's been very comfortable there, and that is the range we've traded since March FOMC. At least at some point during every session since March FOMC, we've traded within that 19 to 1950 range with only two days settling outside of that range, and that was on March 24th and March 25th, and they were brief and they weren't very far above that range, and obviously we're right back in the middle of it again today. So that range continues to hold as the market waits for more information. Uh, we're gonna talk about some of the things that we have later tomorrow and next week, and that's gonna kind of give us a little clear picture as to maybe what the market or what the gold market is waiting for. But again, trading down to that low of 1890, only the second time below 1900 since FOMC, but getting back up there late yesterday, above 1900 late yesterday, and again today, moving back up to the middle part of that 19 to 1950 range we've seen over the last several weeks. What does this mean? all mean for volatility? Well, if you check out that CVOL index over at cmegroup.com, you'll notice that volatility has been trending lower as we've been trading inside of this range. Now, we get moments where we see a, a possible potential for a breakout. We don't get it. We move back. We see volatility continuing to trend lower. It's exactly what we saw today. Lastly, what do we have ahead? Well, we've got the claims number coming up tomorrow, that in-the-moment look at the job market that's expected to be around 200,000. We get the PCE data, which will show us that inflation is higher, something we already know. Uh, we also get the Chicago Purchasing Managers Index, which is going to come in roughly unchanged from last month at around 57, with Friday's payroll number looming at about uh, up 500,000. That'll be the big number of the week. But really, all what matters here, the markets, the gold markets, the rates markets, the equity markets, it's all about the Fed and what the Fed is going to do or what they can do or what they might do. And at this point, the markets are still pricing in about 75% odds of a 50 basis point hike in Mar or May, excuse me, uh, with several other hikes coming in the months after. But a lot of that will get recalibrated per meeting and per month. But ultimately, that's really what the market is hinging on here. And as inflation is rising or staying elevated, gold prices are staying elevated as well. If the Fed can knock those inflation prices and levels down, Obviously, higher rates are negative to gold because gold is a non-yielding instrument. Uh, it could bring gold prices down, but a lot of that is very unclear at this point. But it's all about what the Fed might do and what the Fed will do, obviously, as we get through the next several months. So gold prices holding that range we've seen since March FOMC 19 to 1950. Today, hovering just near the midpoint at around 1935.